Thanks the crowd, and now it's down to those who've cleared 232. Well, Tracy's lined things up, and Gugi goes along with it. A Wheater in third place, Amara of Ireland in fourth place. Ignatieff is five, Ovet six, Russo seven, Marie eight, Hutchins in ninth place, Anton of Spain is tenth. Well, it's interesting this from a British point of view because if it stays slow, then that's, that does not help Steve Ovet. But if it goes faster, I think that helps Chuck Buckner. So, uh, 65 second lap, well, that's not going to hurt anyone. It's more respectable than what we saw earlier, but it's not really going to do any damage. And I think what we're seeing here is a lack of a plan from anyone except Ngugi and Saeed Awita because Awita said he was going to run under 13 minutes again here and break the world record. He promised that to the King of Morocco. And then Googie said he was fit enough to run 13 minutes and he was going to lead all the way. Well, those rumours have floated around the village all week, so all the boys here today have come along and said, I wonder how hard it's going to be because I know this is what's going to happen. Well, that hasn't happened, so they're now starting to think about plan B. And plan B for John Tracy is to get out on the front and stretch it because John's going to get killed in the last couple of laps by these faster finishers. And I think he's going to help himself and make it more respectable for everyone by pushing the pace along. That applies uh, perhaps to a lesser extent to Jack Buckner. And a short, sharp finish, he would have problems. He runs off sustained pace, and there are very few athletes in the world better at it. As he showed in Zurich recently when he ran 13-10 um, in winning. And, of course, he showed in the European Championship last year when he took the title. Another 65. And this pace at the moment, way up in the 1320s. Ngugi leading. But when Ngugi's gone in front so far, the odd occasion he showed that he hasn't really injected pace. Uh, Tracy speeded it up a bit, but not decisively. A Wheater is in third place. In fourth place, Amara. Five is Buckner. Six, Russo. Seventh, Ignatieff. Eight, one of the Castro twins. Ninth place, Steve Obet, then Marie, and Marie is followed by Tim Hutchins. They've gone 68, 69, then two 65s. Ah, the Kenyan's gone out in lane two, <laughs> saying, well, if you want to have a go, have a go. Ah, but Ngugi, of course, one of the world's finest cross-country runners. He's won the international uh, championship twice. Uh, this year and last. He's the African champion at this distance and also the Kenyan champion. And his best time, 13.22, uh, or 13.18 rather, uh, was set some two years ago. But that doesn't mean a lot uh, when you're dealing with African times. It certainly he keeps looking back, looking back, wondering what's going on there. No one wants to do anything, which I find surprising. Well, I find very surprising. But in Googie's running on the, in the second lane all the way around. I can't understand why he's doing that. There's no reason at all. He could cut in now, and he would be leading, and he'd be running a shorter distance. But he seems to be just hovering on the outside, waiting on someone to do something. And Jack Buckner has to really start thinking seriously about making some move here. Well, now it's started. Whether it's going to be a fast and slow, or it's just going to be flat out now. And uh, they've caught Buckner. Uh, Buckner is in fourth place, and a big gap's developed already with the first three. Uh, and Googie went away, stretched them out, and my word, he's stopping, though, and that's going to help Buckner to get back, uh, because a big gap developed, but he went for about 150 metres, and it's going to be a fast, slow arrangement with the look of it, the way Rono used to run. And Buckner, as Rena now led the pack back into 